and I see the tip of the spleen right there. Dr. Bryden Russell is probing the cutting edge of ultrasound training. He's using a probe connected to an iPad mini. His instructor is in Toronto, and he can not only remotely see his screen, but even draw on it if he wants to point something out. An AirPod allows them to communicate with one another. Let's do some aorta and cardiac. And the future will be teleguidance. So what you're seeing here today is instructors from all over Canada, from British Columbia all the way to Newfoundland, instructing here in Alberta. Your trainer is yeah, Gene in Toronto. Uh, Hi, Gene. I'm Louis. Ten physicians from Camrose are taking this emergency department echo ultrasound course, or EDI for short, at their local hospital. Yep, beautiful, nice. The ultrasound course covers two weekends. During the first weekend, there was an instructor at each bedside, and they used this larger ultrasound system to teach physicians. For this second weekend, half of this class is being conducted in the old way. However, for the first time, remote instruction is being used for the other half. It was a bit of a learning curve for about 10 minutes, but otherwise we were off to the races. These physicians aren't the only ones being trained today. Dr. Wiss oversees this Eddy ultrasound course. He can wear the other AirPod for each station, listen in, and train the trainers. It's the ultimate, this call is being monitored for quality assurance kind of situation. The boss is listening in on everything you're doing, commenting, you'll see me texting my staff saying, oh, you know, careful, watch that, do this. His goal is to make the instructors more comfortable with the teleguidance environment. He's also here to provide bedside tips. If somebody needs a bit of extra help, I'm able to go there at the bedside and give them that, that extra little juice of having my hand on their hand. Relax your hand. The new system costs a fraction of the old system. Dr. Russell sees a distinct advantage in the portability of a probe and an iPad. I mean, when you're in a busy emergency department and you have to walk across somewhere and get some big clunky machine, as nice as they are, it's just a bit of a barrier to the care. But when you have something a lot handier, say in your pocket, and you can just stick a probe on, if you can save yourself 20, 30 seconds, you're gonna use it a lot more in the emergency department. Once you are beyond the fundus, yeah. there's still gonna be bladder for a few seconds, right? Ultrasound has been called the stethoscope of the future, especially in emergency. It's becoming much more commonplace, and we're finding that many of the residents coming through the training programs are already really well versed in it. So to get us older guys up to speed is a big advantage. The course isn't cheap, but RPAP will subsidize 50% of the cost for rural Alberta healthcare providers. So that's our chesty stuff. Chesty stuff. <laughs> the technical term there, Ray. This is one of the courses that I've been wanting to do for years. I'm super happy that RPAPs help put it on for us. RPAP also provides administrative help. I get to come as a rep on behalf of RPAP to help with the administration part of the EDI course. So the instructors can focus on teaching and I take care of all the other stuff that kind of goes on behind the scenes that needs to be done. Going forward, that means making sure all the technology is charged up and ready to go. So thanks to RPAP, we are able to train entire groups, entire communities to deliver this care and this technology. Dr. Wiss says he will train groups as small as three or four and as large as 16. For more information on bringing an EDE ultrasound course to your rural Alberta community, please go to rpap.ca backslash EDE or email us at teams at rpap.ca.